She was my mother, and we were stuck together for better or for worse. Some say that she was just mean, but she had a hard life. She certainly wasn't making mine any easier. And then my brother Benny came along, and having him on my side changed everything for me. me so dirty. Still look good, Ben. But then a lot of our friends still mulling around. We did all right then. <laughs> Pretty good tries, young man. You do uh, parallel bar dips, French presses, or barbell extensions? I just fold and unfold a lot of chairs here every day, sir. Really? Interesting. Show me. Yeah. You got pretty good genetics. Imagine what you'd look like if your legs caught up with your arms. So you said you called yourself the Alley Rats. That's who we were. We would do any job we could find for a nickel. We were like Alley Rats, scampered from one dingy house to another dingy house. Alley Rats. Move there, Shuif. You are smart, Shuif. Move there. Set me Where are you going? Hmm? What is the rest? Kids stole it. You let them take it? Look at me. Look at me. You let them take it. Hey, I'm talking to you. I got nothing to add. Oh. Oh. I should toss you away. Like this. Get out of here. Get out.
say if you are born to the iron, you know what the first time you lift. You want to try it? What for? This is how you get bigger. Why would I want to get bigger? Because when you're big, nobody puts their hands on you. Why not take up boxing? Because I'm tired of getting hit. I did it once. That's one more time than you've ever done before, Benny. worked so hard for us, for this. He won something. He won something for us. No. This is embarrassing. He spends his time lifting a bunch of junk in the air again and again for bumps on his arms. Don't say that. If our son continues like this, he will amount to nothing. No. And you want to encourage him. No, no, I, that is not true. Please don't do this. You know what Stella Vernu said to me in the market last week? She said, I saw your son, Joe, and he looked like Tarzan. Oh. Tarzan! <laughs> oh, I tried. It's not your fault, Bob. Yours. No, you, you keep it. It's for you. Come. You take care of your brother. So big Joe needs some help, huh? It's a funny man now with the jokes. Come on, help me with this. Why do we need an ice box? So we don't have to keep our food in the snow to keep it cold. Come on, help me. It's good. Get some exercise. Yeah, it's in the morning. Oh, it's always a good time. Never bad time.
I'm sorry. I've been... I've been watching you. What are you drawing? Oh, uh, uh the human, human figure. Yes. Do you mind if I... Of course. Okay. Wow. That is very impressive. Has anyone ever told you that you have a, a nice chin? Chin? Mm -hmm. Um, no. Oh, it comes to a perfect point when you smile. Oh, thank you. You don't smoke, do you? No. No, no, I, I could tell. You have beautiful skin, and, and you, you smell very good, too. <laughs> oh, my. Thank you again, I guess. Would you like to get some coffee? Now? Sure, now. I, I don't get off until 8 o'clock. What is your name, by the way? I'm, I'm Joe. Joe. I'm Kathy. I'll, I'll wait outside. Okay. Eight o'clock. Eight o'clock. I'll see you then. Hi. Hi. <laughs> um, do, do you like to walk? Yes, I love to walk. All right. I see you studying at the library all the time. Mm. Do you go to the university? No, no. You? No. No, and, and I'm not studying. I'm creating. Creating what? The path to a perfect physique. Looks like you've already done that. All right, what do you do for fun? Oh. Fun. It's not a foreign word. No, no, but uh, no, I just, I just told you. It's so fun. You draw and write about how to have a nice physique. Oh no, no, not, not nice. More powerful, more beautiful. And the human body is incredible, and most people they, they do nothing with it. They treat it like junk. So that's your hobby, the body. Well, it's time for hobbies. The body is the ultimate machine. With the power to make it perfect. You have to work it right, treat it right, feed it right. Um, same as you would a racehorse. <laughs> what? What's, what's funny? You eat the same as a racehorse? Oh uh, no. Well, <laughs> maybe not exactly the same, but hmm, probably as often. Is that a smile? The, the best I can do. I, I've been told I need practice. Look at that. Fill out your application completely. I uh, uh, believe that I did. Religious affiliation. Oh, um, I, I didn't think that one mattered. We don't. You're not a Jew, are you? Murray's policy is no Jews. Oh, I, I, I did not know about that policy. Damn. All right, I'm going to keep you. But only because you work as hard as three guys. But I am going to list you down here as Roman Catholic. You, you write down anything you want if it means I you know, come back tomorrow. For now. Wait, Joe. Another thing. Huh? Sit down. Sit. These drawings, 
that you've been doing on your breaks? These weird body pictures that people are talking about? Are you like a Michelangelo? No, no, I, I wish. You wish? Mm -hmm. Michelangelo was a bugger. You're not a bugger, are you? No, no, I'm, I'm not. Good. The only thing worse than a Jew is a bugger. And the only thing worse than a bugger is a Jew bugger. Got it, yeah. Good thing I'm not colored then, huh? You mean a swell with me? No. Just don't do your pictures around here anymore. And don't bring them into work. You got it? I, I, I'm doing the sketches because I'm putting together a newsletter about the human physique. A what? The physics, the art and science of the body. Just keep it to yourself. Period. All right. Go. Hey, waiter. Got a pie that uh, didn't sell today. You want it? Uh. Oh, come on. It's a perk for being a non-Jew. <laughs> Seriously, you can give it to your wife or something. Oh, oh shit, that's my fault. Oh, well. you still have it if you want it. No, no, thank you. Oh, no, 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 thank you. Semite bastard. And I don't work for Jew hating bastards. And you, you need to exercise because you, you, you are soft, flabby man, no muscle tone, no, no strength at all. If, if you had any self respect, you, you'd find an activity for your body and, and keep a proper diet. You're welcome. I don't know why we can't focus on what we're doing here and work on your dreams in our spare time. We're doing terrific business. Just look. Did you hear me, Joe? What is this? Should we make this? I have put something like this together. And I saved up seven dollars. Most of that I spent to send out postcards to people whose names I got from the back of Strength and Health magazine. What for? To get ideas and advice. I, I want to have a magazine devoted to those who build their bodies. You want to have a magazine about muscles? <laughs> Does Bill Hulk know? Bill Hawk's magazines are about feats of strength and, and weightlifting. Mine focuses on sculpting the body, health, and nutrition. Look at the publisher's names on my rack. Bill Hawk. He has all the great strong men. The big name guys. They all work for him. My magazine is different. It's, it's just better, Mr. Young. Yeah. It shows exercises for everybody. Who's gonna buy it? And what makes you think that Bill Hawk's gonna let a young pisha like you make a magazine that will compete with his? I have essays and pictures of men training specific muscle groups, isolation therapy, weight gain, everything you need to help yourself train. People need to work on their own bodies. Boychik, you got a lot of nerve picking names from the Muscle Kings magazines. So who's gonna read about all this? Someday everybody will. But I tell you what, keep the first 20 copies of the magazine for free. Free? Hmm? Nothing wrong with free. I'll bring back the rest. Joe? Where are we supposed to eat? We, we can eat at the desk. You mean what used to be my dining table? Yeah, yeah, it's perfect. Uh, uh, everything fits. Uh, hey, Benny, what's the situation with the, the straw man here in Montreal? Claude Regime. He's in Bell Hawks magazine. I think he has a contract with him. Uh, uh, what about uh, the weightlifting King Jerry George? Called him already. He's a partner of Hawks. What is this? A damn union. Only one man is allowed to publish his opinions on building muscle. Have you lost your mind, Joe? I want all of this stuff out of here. We're making the magazine, Kathy. This is what we wanted. We? 
What happened in the job at Murray's, Joe? I, I, I can better people's lives by bringing fitness into it. And, and what, you, you want me to serve terrible food for, for an anti-Semite? Murray's isn't terrible food. It's normal food for normal people. Normal people who aren't obsessed with having a tight tummy. Well, someday, because of our magazine, those will be the normal people. This is pipe dreams and a puff of smoke, Joe. You sound like my mother. Well, maybe she was a realist. Joe! Please, can we talk? I can go and get some coffee. No! We'll talk outside. Michelle, she's a good girl. Joe, you don't need to work day and night on some magazine or your research or even lift weights for me. I married you. I love you just the way you are. That is the worst thing you could ever say to me. Sad to say, I didn't want to be loved for the person I was. I wanted to be loved for the person I wanted to become. I had big dreams. I wanted to, I wanted something bigger. And so I knew, you know, the marriage, uh, the marriage had to end. The whole point of marriage is that two people come together and create something special, strive for something, a life that's worth living. People who get together and drop their dreams and hopes, that just wasn't for me. told me I could not get the great Claude Regine to do your physique because he was on the contract with Bill Hawk. Well, Bill ended my contract. My doctor told me, weightlifting is bad for me, Joe. He said I could get athlete's heart and die from it. Your doctor says this. Well, you can tell your doctor that Joe Weider said nonsense. Still, please, he doesn't know what he's talking about. Three, two, one. What? Benny, we cannot allow these people's ignorance to make us look like the bums. Mm -mm. It's your turn, Joe. Go, please. Three, two, one. That's the one. Of course it is. Who the hell you think you're posing in front of? Huh? I'm Bill. Oh, damn it. Is there any way that you could look, uh, intense and manly without looking like you're taking the shit? What, did you grow a vagina last night? I told you you had to man it up, intensify. Come on, show it to me. Hey, Derry. What's this? Copycats from Canada, huh? They're interested in the size and shape of muscles. Ha! Poof, this... Muscles should be useful, not for display. This, this magazine is made for faggots. <laughs> Come on now. They say it's for bodybuilders. Oh yeah, well, uh, how about if they try and build that, Jerry? Good luck, faggots. You know, I remember the sweeter kid. Little guy bought a weight set from me on layaway when he was 13. Wrote me a dozen letters. Yeah, well, every kid wrote to you, Jerry. You're a legend. Point taken, William, but. This kid, I remember he was persistent, begged me to help him, paid me 15 cents a week on time. Uh, okay, okay, so what, Terry? So maybe he should be taken seriously. Uh. Hey, Terry, what kind of a name is Weeder anyway? Huh? We, we, <laughs> sounds like a pig in heat. Weeder! Yo. Thank you.
Weeder mine. Dr. Braddock will see you now. Sir. So you didn't fill out your paperwork? That's because I'm not here as a patient. I came here to hire you as a consultant for Weeder Nutrition. And what is Weeder Nutrition? Uh, it's Weeder Nutrition. Mm. An open letter from your publisher. Eating fatty foods like french fries is bad for your heart. Sitting all day without exercise is bad for your heart. Weightlifting and daily exercise is actually what your heart needs to remain healthy. We here at Weider Publications live by this and will challenge all those who say building the body is bad for you. Sincerely, the publisher, Joe Weider. Ben! Benny! I enlisted. I can't stand on the sidelines any longer. Penny, you, you know better than anyone what's going on over there. I know, which is why I had to enlist. I'd never be able to forgive myself, Joe. Oh, my brother. Oh, my brother, you, you and the sugar, the bastard. We have important work here. No, you have important work here. Oh, no, no, I'm coming with you. Joe, they just told me the authorities would never allow you to join up. What are you talking about? They want you to keep running off the magazines. For what? The country needs strong young men, Joe. And you show the guys how to get fit and ready to fight. You're training our troops. You're already in the fight. Well, what, what if we agreed to do instructional seminars You're together? You're doing your duty. Now let me do mine. Over there. Mm. Oh, look at you. All grown up, huh? Serious, Joe. I saw my. You, you watch your butt, Benny. I will. Don't come back. I'm gonna have to go over there and find you. Understand? I'll be back. Publications? Yes, sir. Yes. Uh, young, but very focused. Yep. Becky, two scotches. Yes, Mr. Hawkins. You like scotch, Joe? Uh, I, I don't I don't drink. It's poison. What's that? Uh, don't partake, but but thank you. I, I am glad that you asked to see me, though, Mr. Hawkins, because my, my publication is real news, sir. And with the war on, both Canadian and American troops are really getting inspired by my magazine. The importance of health and fitness is critical for their development. No longer will the benefits of weightlifting, bodybuilding, nutrition for all, including women, be overlooked. And we, we want to. Okay, take a breath, Joe. I'm sorry, but, but one last thing I do have to tell you before you, before you Sweet say. Sweet Jesus, son. Yes. Take a break. I'm, I'm sorry, yes, sir. Okay? Yes, sir. Joe, you're here because I like your magazine. Mm -hmm. I read the article on Athlete's Heart. No, no, there, there's no such thing as Athlete's Heart. <laughs> I agree, Joe. Okay. 
And soldiers out there have been reading it too and it's raised morale. And that's why I want to tell you, you found a real distributor in us. We're the biggest and the best, Joe. And we want to publish your magazine. Joe, stay with yes, us. Yes, yes, sir. Yeah, yeah. We're going to take your magazine globally. 50,000 copies a month. Headquarters in New Jersey, close to our New York office. Kid, welcome to the big time. Ice! Um, thank Becky! Thank you. Thank you, sir. Yeah. What do you think of the good old USA? Um, Exciting, right? <laughs> Becky! Is that a smile? You call that a smile? I, I'm not very good at it. Well, you better get good at it, because this is just the beginning, Joe. I'm taking the liberty to, to draw up a little contract here, and I just need you to sign it, and then we'll be on our way. There you go, buddy. There you go. Um, well, well this, this certainly is a, a dream come true, sir. It is a dream come true. I love making dreams come true. Sign your name on there. Yes, yes, but I, I'm going to need a, a $5,000 advance, and uh, a New Jersey office is nice, but Los Angeles, in particular Hollywood, would be much better. I'm offering you the whole golden calf, Joe. And you want to negotiate with me? Well, well I do have some other projects that, that need funding. Uh, Weeder Waits, in particular. And uh, the physiques are just better in Los Angeles. Better than in New Jersey? Are there better physiques in Los Angeles than New Jersey? Of course there are. It, it's got movie stars and suntan bodies and it, everything that dreams are made of. It, it dreams that I can sell better than anybody. You sell 50,000 copies a month for a year, Joe, and I'll build you a headquarters on the moon. Yes, yes, I, I accept that challenge. Uh, and the $5,000? Yeah, that's crazy. I was thinking more like that. Oh, no, no, it must be 5,000, 5,000 minimum. Um, can, can I move seats because the sun is in my eyes, very, very bright. Th thank you, I'm sorry. You're relentless, Joe. Uh, yes, sir. Yes. Checkbook! Do you prefer the three by fives or the five by sevens of Reg Park? Oh, uh, you know me, Kate. The bigger the better, especially when it comes to Reg Park. Will you be at the regime photo shoot later this afternoon? No, no, I'll be more those sporting goods in Manhattan this afternoon. But please make sure the Claude is in the green trunks and have Tony Shaders abs. You got it. Thank you. Um, one, one second. Pull. Golf up. Left leg. Leg up. Yep. And better. Much better. Oh, help me out, golf. Give me a flex. Give me a flex. Thank you. Good, good. Well done, Bob. Well done. Uh, Tony, about this afternoon. You want Regine in the green string trunks, and you want me to shave his abs. Well, do you mind reading? No, I heard you tell Kate in the hallway. Oh, well, you're phenomenal hearing them. Very good. Very good. Of course, there's in the echo. Mm -hmm. Weeder. I, Joe Weeder, predict that civilization will speed up in every phase and that the stresses and strains on mankind will continue to increase. Because of this, I predict that the resulting increase in mental and physical illness will force the world to recognize the importance of systemic exercise and physical activities. <laughs> Fancies himself a prophet, huh? I predict that bodybuilding will become the chief form of systemic exercise and physical activity. It will become a necessary habit for all athletes who wish to keep their bodies functioning at their best. He sure is a lyrical fellow. <sighs> this magazine is filled with this garbage, and of course, advertisements for his weight. You believe that this dirty little Jew is selling dumbbells and barbells now? Hmm? You trying to be me? Huh? He's trying to be me. And I'm not gonna tolerate it. Um. I created an illustration. That better be good. <laughs> so that's that's you, and that's him. That's me. <laughs> <laughs> All right. 
You put that in the next issue. Okay? You know what? You put it in every issue. Okay? Ma'am, ma'am, uh, we know weights are on special today. Uh, take a look at this before and after. Remarkable. What's the secret? Just what he's doing here. Repetition. That, that is all. Anyone can do it. Um, we know weights come with a set of instructions and a list of 10 of my favorite exercises. These exercises will tone and shape your body, which will in turn free your spirit, which will in turn free your mind and, and give you a new passion for life. Oh, it will do all that, will it? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Come on, man. What? Come on, man. No, no. You see, you still have a touch. Benny. Benny, Benny, Benny. <laughs> Good to see you. Got a gift for you from Egypt. The hat. Yeah. It's a nice hat. It's yours. I went by your fancy new offices. They said you were here. Regine was doing a shoot in a G-string. I have to say, his abs looked amazing. What are you doing to these guys? Uh, our new office is running. Our. And we now have so many new techniques for training every muscle in the body. We, we made training a system, a science. And it never hurts to show as much muscle as possible. We have female readers as well as certain males who appreciate the more revealing photographic arts. Fans of fans. So how'd you get these manufactured so quickly? Uh, well, I used the advance we got from American News Company, as, w as well as an additional few thousand from our physique salary. Oh. And are we selling a lot of them? No, not yet, but we, we will. You know, well, it's too much too fast. You're sinking every dime into other Weeder Enterprises. Some is money we haven't even made yet. And tell me exactly, what are these other enterprises? Well, we're publishing another magazine. Dr. Braddock and I have been working on some formulas for vitamins, anti-aging pills, protein powders, oh, and the gym equipment, Benny. The gym equipment, because someday, you know, we're gonna open our own gym. Oh, Joe, how are we gonna do all this? That's gonna spread us way too thin. Benny, no, we have more than 50,000 meters every month, and all of our advertising is free. Come on, look, all free, huh? Yeah, 50,000 readers with nothing in reserve. Why? Because you're throwing our profits right back out there, Joe. What if one of these other enterprises needs more time? or in fact, simply fails. We'll go under. It's basic economics. Joe, are you listening to me, or has Betty the Pinup's gaze put a spell on you? Of course, of course I'm listening. You, you suddenly, you're a financial wizard, huh? I studied once I was away, Joe. If you insist on expanding this aggressively, then we're gonna leave ourselves exposed. Nonsense, nonsense, no. Strike while the iron is hot, that's what we'll do. Joe! Mm. What? You're gonna wanna see this. Bastard. He writes a lot of trash about you in this issue. You know he's a Nazi. That's not proven, Joe. He can write it. No, that bastard is a renowned anti-Semite. That's Claude, Reg, Jack Lelaine. They all know it. You can't print it, Joe. Well, now I'm forced to use valuable space in our magazine to defend against his lies. Space that can be used for constructive weight training advice. Well, well what? Does he, does he not care about health and fitness? He cares about his power and money, Joe. He sees us infringing on his empire and he's worried. He knows the weeder methods work better, so he tries to pull us down any way he can. We will show him just how well our methods work. Our bodybuilders will crush his at Mr. Universe. Trash. I need to walk. Here we are, ladies and gentlemen, the candidates for Mr. Universe! Mr. Weeder, may I have a word with you, please? What now? No, no. We are watching this incredible show. Come on, you should join us. As chief representative of the Amateur Athletic Union, I am afraid I am forced to disqualify your contestants from any weightlifting and bodybuilding events in the United States. Unless you withdraw. Now, if you would, please leave the stage. On what grounds? What are you people trying to pull? Your sanction will be withdrawn. Under whose authority? The AAU Weightlifting Committee in the United States, from the highest level. Look, these men work for you. 
They're paid by your magazine, therefore they are not amateurs. No, 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 they are paid as fitness models and experts on training. The AAU controls all amateur sports in North America, Mr. Weeder. So if you'd like to participate in a sporting event, I suggest you adhere to our rules and regulations. You, you're a hypocrite and a liar. You gave us a sanction and now you, you let help take it away. Look, there's no going around us. Either you work with us or there's nothing. Well, what if our contestants denounce the AAU completely? Then you would never be able to compete in one of our competitions ever again. Oh, but they would be allowed to compete in their own. I implore you, gentlemen, don't listen to the weeders. They do not have your best interest in mind. You are the one trying to take away what is rightfully theirs. They do not need the AAU. You, you screw them anyway. Yeah. You take this away from them and you'll find yourself in court. We don't need the AAU. These men will agree to never participate in another AAU sanctioned event. Is that what you want? From now on, they will compete only in the IFBB sanctioned events, and that will be the end of this. What the hell is the IFBB? The International Federation of Bodybuilders. I've never heard of any IFBB. Are you nuts? Are you? Because the IFBB not only has the best bodybuilders in the world, these men right here, but we will attract every man worth his salt. Because what you and Bill Hawk do not realize is... All these men want is to compete against the very best. Damn right. We are here. They are here. The champion bodybuilders people came to see. We are the IFBB. We came to compete, Harry. You take this away, I'll make you regret it. Fine. Fine, this competition will go on. We will discuss rules and regulations with you at with the IFBB at a later time. Good luck. Wonder what you figure out there is no organization called the IFBB. He won't. We just created it. Ladies and gentlemen, the winner of Mr. Universe, Red Park! Thank you. Oh, thanks for you, We're gonna up your protein. 200 grams a day. You understand? No, I do not. Hold on. Thank you, Joe. Hold on. Hey, you know what your problem is? Mm. You think that uh, what you do is a sport? You know what I think? No, and I do not care. Because I don't think that you think, Bill. Your mind is like your magazine, fixed in cement. Oof. Uh, that was a good one. Okay, well, congrats. <laughs> Create impeccable men. <laughs> Teach greatness. You, you just got lucky today, didn't you? <laughs> what the hell is going on here? Oh, it seems your brother just had a little accident. I think you should probably tell him that it's time to settle down. So, so, we've already beaten this bum. Let's not smash the teeth on the jaws of victory, huh? Come on, Come on. Come on doctor. Sold those out. Is it out? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Well, I'm packing my grip. And I'm leaving today. Because I'm taking a trip. California way. I'm gonna settle down and never more roam And make the San Fernando Valley my home I'll forget How can my Hollywood family. help us? Oh, Benny, come on. It's beautiful here. It's always warm, always sunny. The people, they, they care about how they look. They, they don't cover themselves up in sweaters and coats. They don't have to. Well, I'm told the California crowd, they don't welcome outsiders. And our business is doing so well. They need us. They need us and they'll love us. If you say so. And make the San Fernando Valley my home. And make the San I'm sorry, Mr. Weeder, but I'm just completely lost here. You and your partner, Mr. Nazium, will have to educate me. Mm, Mr. Nazium? Who, who is Mr. Nazium? Frankly, that's what I want to know. And why hasn't he joined us? There is no Mr. Nasium. You said Mr. Nasium. No, no, I did not. Mr. Weeder, you mentioned a Jim Nasium several times on the phone. Jim Gymnasium. Uh, gymnasium. 
It's not a person, it's a place. It's a place. It's a place of business that we are talking about? Ah, I yes. see. Yes, gym for short. Well, these gyms are not what we invest in. Well, Mr. Hockberg, I'd be happy to show you one. Uh, in fact, if you approve this loan, we will train you for free. We could change your life, sir. I don't want my life changed. I like my life. What goes on in these gymnasiums? Exercise, Mr. Hockberg, exercise. What are people paying for then, exactly? Have you ever heard of weightlifting? Jumping rope? Barbells? Why would anyone, a normal person, pay to go to a strange place like that? To look good and to feel good. <laughs> <coughs> You think real people, grown-ups, will pay good money to go to a place to pick up weights and sweat together? And open themselves up to athletes heart and heart attacks? Mr. Hartberg, athletes heart is not real. <sighs> As you strengthen your muscles, you also strengthen the most important muscle of your body, the heart. It brings more oxygen to the blood, which goes to your brain. It allows one to think more clearly. Gyms are the future. They're good for people. They're good for the body, for the mind, and the spirit. People, if they choose to exercise, can play sports, box, row, any number of vigorous activities. One thing they do not need is a public sweat house with heavy weights in it. No, but, 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 but this is, is Hollywood. Yes, it is. You could always take your ideas back up to New York. Evidently up there, the banks are run by lunatics if they would fund an idea like this. Those are bad for you. Thanks for taking the check in, buddy. Chuck, it's good to see you. Good to see you. My God, what an oasis you out here, huh? Oh, yes. It's, it's just, always with you like this. It just keeps getting bigger and bigger thanks to you. <laughs> I cannot believe you're here. <laughs> Thank you for all this. It's all because of you. Can you believe that people still don't even know what a gem is? Hey, guys, look who it is. It's the one and only Joe Weeder. Joe Weeder, the real deal. It's so great to meet you, Daddy. Yes, yes. You know, sometime I'd like to do a story on you guys in the streamlined West Coast physique. Oh, that would be out of sight. Keep up the good work. Chuck, how in the world did you get a bank to help you buy all this equipment? I didn't. There's no way they would lend me the money for that. They all think we're loonies. Oh, you know, I learned that the hard way. Come on, why, why are you even thinking about building another gym in the first place? And don't be so hasty. I'm your friend. Oh my. Oh, you didn't hear a single word that I just said, did you? Chad, is that who I think it is? Well, if you think that's Betty Brosmer, then yeah. She is so much more beautiful in person, Jackie. You, ha you have to introduce me. <laughs> Come on, what, why would I introduce a palooka like you to the most beautiful woman in the entire world? It doesn't make any sense. Okay, okay, I see your point, I see your point, but please, anything, anything helpful, please. Okay, well, don't open a gym here, then. What? If you don't start a gym, then I'll introduce you to her. Fine. Fine. Yes, deal. Please. But when you introduce us, you tell her I'm your mentor. <laughs> you, my mentor? Mm -hmm. Wait, you're, you're a publisher from New York. Isn't that good enough? You're right. Simple introduction will be fine. Huh. Okay. How about a little more shoulder? Even more playful. Perfect. Take a break, doll. Hi, Betty. Monty, what a nice surprise. Yes, I came down here with a magazine publisher, Joe Weeder, who wants you for a photo shoot. Weeder. Weeder, that name sounds familiar. You met him a few months back with Jack LaLanne. He's got those muscle and exercise magazines and pulps. Of course, I remember you. Jack LaLanne's friend. Yes, yes, we, uh, we met at the gym. 
I remember you mentioning your fondness for philosophy and art. We have an excellent memory, Joe. And you also said that you love a farewell to arms and Fats Waller's piano. Yes, I certainly do. Joe, about the photo shoot you'd like Betty to do? Oh, yeah, no, not, not like, need. I need Betty for the cover of my newest magazine, American Manhood. <laughs> Look at that smile, it's incredible. Betty, you, you will make my magazine fly right off the stands, all over the world. You put women on the cover of your muscle magazines. Uh, well, well, we do as of now, Miss Rosmer, yes. I, I'd like to put you on the cover with the great Earl Clark. Who's Earl Clark? He, he is Mr. Universe. Uh, would you prefer Reg Park? Who's Reg Park? Reg Park, well, he, he is also Mr. Universe. I'm sorry I don't follow your muscle competition so closely. What about a cover with Tony Curtis? Uh, who is Tony Curtis? <laughs> <laughs> well, he's an actor, Mr. Weeder. Oh, no. No, 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 no. A woman like you has too fine a physique to share the cover with an actor. All those guys are either too scrawny or too flabby, and you would only make them look worse. No. You need to be on the cover with a real bodybuilder. Betty's time is not cheap, Joe. I'll pay her 15% more than she's being paid today. Why, thank you. I look forward to working with whomever you decide. Right. Maybe your leg up, a little flexing. Yes. And why not? <laughs> there we go. Maybe dance, like dance, fall down. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> like a break, a little break. How do you feel? I feel great. You look beautiful. You happy? Very nice. Love it. The outfit is okay. gorgeous. With your eyes, the hair, everything. Perfect. Wonderful. Perfect. Okay. Here we take a walk. Take sure. a walk? Yes. Yeah. Take a walk. Standing up. What? Your, your transverse abdominus is beautiful stuff. I mean, what? a sculptor couldn't have made a more defined. Well, hey, I, I'm not queer. No, neither am I. It's my business. It's my business. How, how hard are your abdominals? I don't know what that is. Just your stomach muscles, the bumps. Uh, I guess they're pretty hard. Look, you mind you mind flexing flexing your lowest? Look, I don't, I don't I'm know. A, it's... I'm a publisher for a Muscle Magazine. Please, please, I just want to see. It. Please. Wow, bravo, really, really nice, nice work. H how do you suppose you got those? Surfing, I guess. Uh-huh. Would you mind, I I'd like to see that. Would you mind, would you show me? In the sand right here? Yeah, that's fine. Take it slow.
How do you feel about going on a skate cover with Leroy Colbert? Who's Leroy Colbert? He's the next Mr. Universe. He's the only man in the world with 21 inch arms. And he's a colored guy. Why does that matter? That he's got 21 inch arms? That he's a colored guy. Oh, well, there's never been a colored bodybuilder on the cover of a muscle magazine before. We would be the first. And I want you to hang from one of those massive biceps right on the cover. Well, if the point of it is to be the first to show a colored man's muscular body on the cover of a magazine, well, then let that be the point. It seems to me that I would only undermine that joke. Hmm. I have to say that you are 100% right. And I was wrong. You don't hear that very often, I know. What? <laughs> what? Did you just say that I was right? Mm, maybe. I might have. Can we talk about something else? Like what? Anything. Anything else. Hmm. All right. Mm, let's talk about our lovemaking then. You have such precise movements. Perfectly timed. Powerful. Hip thrust. That's gotta be the root raises. And we should really do a piece on that for women because our readers would definitely benefit. You're so stupid, Joe. What? You don't have a clue. What? what? Where are you going? Home. No, you, you can't go. Why can't I go? Well, because you don't have your car. And because I need you. I don't think you need me, Joe. You need subjects for your readers to admire and learn from. Well, well then, then you are the one who is clueless. You, you have no idea. I don't. Because you don't share anything about you. About your family. About Canada, what you really feel. I don't like to talk about my childhood, buddy. You know that. Give me something. Anything. What? What is your happiest memory? Tell me your happiest memory of you growing up. My happiest memory? Well, why? For what? Because I want to know. I am not just a thing. Or a shape that you can just have. I, I, I don't even know what that means. I'm right here. I just want you to talk to me. I need to know who you really are, Joe. Who, who am I? Who I, I'm just, I, I'm me. I'm Joe. You Give know me, me. Like, something. Crazy about you. Something, anything. Your first day of school. That was a happy memory, right? Uh, no. Where did you sit? Was there a window? Did you look outside? What did you see? I, I don't know. I don't know. I Maybe there's something wrong with me. I, I, I can't remember anything before I started writing for the magazine. Okay. Okay. I'll start. I had an aunt in San Francisco who collected these antiques, china, glass, and wood. And she would display her favorites just so, behind glass. Once, when I was a little girl, I stayed with her. And she saw me staring at these beautiful, beautiful glass figurines. My aunt, she opened the glass and she let me hold my favorites. I felt this power like I had never felt before. Like I had held something truly important for the very first time. That's a happy memory, Joe.
いやなんかあの旦那さんなんか What about your birthdays? Your favorite birthday cake? Never celebrated birthdays. Never had birthday cake. Never. Yes. Please, please, please. I, I, don't, I don't have the happiest memory. And never had a birthday cake. And, If I ever opened the glass door to pick out a figurine, my mother probably would have made me eat one to make damn sure I never did it again. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I, I don't want you to think that, that I'm strange or. You're the strangest man I've ever met, Joe. <laughs> Down south are saying about Weedy and his new dark oiled up friend. Down there, they've mentioned both. <laughs> <laughs> oh. hmm. That kike. <laughs> What do you think, Jerry? <laughs> oh, it's good to be king. <laughs> There's three articles in here that were featured in one of our publications first. And then, of course, there's this and this. You know Lucky Strike and Miller have contacted us, too. I mean, with all our new magazines sucking money, it's hard to make our profit margins. Benny told you to say that. Margins pay all our salaries, Joe. And alcohol and cigarettes kill people. They go against everything we stand for and believe in here. Yeah, I'm not so sure it's that black and white. You know, there are people who like to exercise and also have an occasional drink, even a smoke. It's 1957, Joe. It's, it's the modern world. No, it's not. The modern world is what we sell in our magazine. A world of vitamins, protein shakes, vegetable juice, vitality. Now I need a drink. Well, then have a protein shake. I'm gonna need a martini. You know, if the day comes where the world is getting together over a protein shake, I do believe that I will be long dead. Ah, yes, Barton. From all the liquor and the cigarettes. <laughs> <laughs> hey, the Weeder way is the honest way. We practice what we preach. I like that. Write that down. That will be on the next cover. She's a sharp gal, I told you. You know, I'm a sharp gal too, Joe. And unfortunately, we will need some of those sinful ads, or there will be no way to deliver our prophet's message at all. We leave the antibody ads to Bill Hauk. We're in the health business. What's next? Buddy, can you get that? Hello? Hello, Mr. Hawkins. Joe. Just a moment. Hello, Roy. How's the weather in New York? No, the bitter cold is not comforting, but I'm sorry to say, Joe, it's the least of my problems. I'm finished, Joe. American News is bankrupt. <laughs> Call his writers. See who needs a paying job. I want them all, Jerry. Jerry. All of them. You've got new competition.
screw that bastard hawk. It's mine, Joe. I'm sorry, I, I got kids to feed. Katie's coming with me as well. The one who should have left first. Me? Why in the world would I leave? I'm broke. No, 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 not broke. No, a million dollars in debt. A new kind of millionaire. The regular ones are boring, Joe, believe me. Hey, any pretty gal can find herself a rich man, Joe. This gal, this gal needs more. You're not the only big dreamer that needs to build something. Hey, you stuck with me. Then, Minnie, how, how would you like to get stuck? Like, officially? For good. Make me the richest broke man in the world. Richer or poorer, yes? Wait, 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 was, was that yes or yes or was that a question? I thought you'd never ask. <laughs> <laughs> are merely byproducts of their strength, not the other way around. These world-class athletes seek my experience, little old me. <laughs> While other so-called trainers are busy putting loincloths on greased-up Negroes. <laughs> you think I'm kidding, don't you? No, I deal in champions while my competitor deals in Negro homo smugglers. <laughs> 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 the Weeder brothers say that the IFBB is looking to make bodybuilding an Olympic event. Do they say that? Is that right? Hmm. Well, I believe that they're focused on filing for bankruptcy right now because uh, they and their disgusting magazines are done. Joe Weeder says he's boycotting the AAU and this competition. What you say about that? Weedy is not here because he doesn't dare show his face. Okay, that, and also he can't afford a ticket. I don't think any of us here believe in this so-called federation of his and his little blonde bombshell. I mean, honestly. Well, can I print that? Oh, you don't have to. I'll do it myself. <laughs> I shall call the peace. Where, oh, where is Weeder? His name is Joe Weeder, and I'm here in his place, you low-life son of a bitch. Well, well. Look at who we have here. It's little weedy. <laughs> What's your problem? Would you rather that I call him, uh, the Jew? What did you say? Why all the gasps? He is J-E-W, Joseph Edward Weeder. Isn't that right? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Why you gotta go and destroy all the fun, Jerry? Huh? Ooh. These Jews are so sensitive these days, aren't they? <laughs> get off me! Are you trying to get yourself killed? If it isn't Jerry George. Hey, you're better than that. That low-life son of a bitch crossed the line, and you know it, George. And to think that my brother and I used to look up to you when we were kids. I sold your brother his first weight set. Me too. And now you stand with this pig anti-Semite basking in his glory. Shame on you. Hey, wait, 
Ben, wait a second. Look. Maybe Hulk's right. Maybe there's Hulk men and there's Weeder men. But I am not the Hulk man. No. You're his puppet. You watch your mouth if you want to keep your teeth. <laughs> the truth is, I would rather be a Weeder man. I admire you and your brother. Hulk's an embarrassment. And, and he's outdated, and so is his branch of the damn AAU. We have nothing to offer you. Oh, but you do. I want to make bodybuilding stand on its own, take its rightful place as a legitimate sport. In order for that to happen, you need to make the IFBB stand for something, give it an official standing. I've traveled all over the world getting signatures from... There'll be time for that. Look, right now, focus on your stature in the bodybuilding community, and you and Joe need about a serious challenge to help. The IFBB can win. It will win. Nobody cares about this sport more than my brother and I. You do that, then you can count on me to help. Welcome back, Benny. Fancy man, you're right in the back now, huh? You look good. You look good. Don't worry, we'll get your back. Come on. It will be a cold day in hell if they think they can snatch away what we have built. I've missed you too, Benny. We'll get another distributor. That will be easy when the IFBB is recognized as the governing body of our sport, with the only democratically elected governing council. Well, what's the plan? We make Mr. Universe look penny ante. We reach out to every bodybuilder we know, and we ask them to join us in building the largest, fairest, most globally recognized bodybuilding contest in history. Jerry George has agreed to travel the world and bring in talent from everywhere. You reach out to the bodybuilders, get them in the WIDA program, and I'll get their countries to join the IFBB later. I have not lost sight of the bigger picture, Joe. I'm going to get us into the Olympics. Bodybuilding is essential to nation building, and this competition is essential to bodybuilding. Since when are you the idea man, hmm? You know, you, you're supposed to be the realist. Yeah, well, some guys have it all. Uh huh. We have to be married to this, Joe. You're always right about that. Well, you know, Benny, I am married. Not now. Joe, what? I'm serious. Cut the crap. We've got a lot of work to do. see Joe Weider drinking a beer. Only for very special occasions. And tonight, special occasion. Larry, I have to say, you really wild him with those guns at Mr. Universe. Well, I have to thank you for that. I actually used the Weider arm method from your magazine. Mm, yes, but the real question is, where do you go from here? Because you know, once you're Mr. Universe, you're done. Well, I have given that some thought, Joe. And I think I have to get out of competitive bodybuilding. Just hope I can still do some work modeling. Well, that, that is a damn shame. What is? Well, after you become Mr. Universe, you cannot go any higher. You get punished for your greatness. But what if I told you the IFBB is creating a world professional bodybuilding championship that you can compete as many times as you want? Defend your title. <laughs> I'd say, where do I sign up? So what's this competition going to be called? Well, we're working on that. What about? Mr. Olympia. Olympia, that's... that's perfect. Betty, you're full of surprises. How'd you come up with that? <laughs> <laughs> well, I would love to be Mr. Olympia. Mr. Olympia. Thank God you didn't order a schlitz. First of many Mr. Olympias. Yeah. That was one hell of a show tonight, huh, Bill? I gotta say, the Weeders put together the grandest competition yet. What did you say to me? Oh, did you miss it? 
Sir, this is Ben Weeder, president of the IFBB and Mr. Olympia. If I could have a moment of your time, I'd like to bring something to your attention. Well, I'm glad you asked. Bodybuilding belongs in the Olympics. Yes, sir, we think it does. No, no, no. I agree. I do not see mm -hmm. yellow clearly on red. Do you not know that? Yeah, I'll oh. fix it, Mr. Reader. Mm -hmm. And reverse print the yes. title. It needs to be white on a dark mm -hmm. background so it pops. Mm -hmm. The color schemes no. are awful today. It's just a mistake, Joe. Well, don't have time for mistakes. It needs to be perfect. Yes, Mr. Reader. Joe! Oh, hello, Jerry. How was the world tour? Some exciting new talent out there. I'll tell you about it. Norwegians, Hungarians, Austrians. So many impressive hopefuls, I lost count. Mm, let's see, let's see some of these bodies. What do we, mm, it's good, it's good. Wait, hold on, who, who is this? Arnold Schwartz, Schwartz, I, I couldn't pronounce his last name if you paid me. Everyone in the gym calls him the Oak. There's another photo of him at the end. My God, Betty, look, look at that face. Pure determination. What a specimen. Where, where is he from? Austria. Do you see it? Do you see the look? The fire in his eyes, the steel. I saw it in person. See, that, that is what the tough guys in the movie should look like. Yes, me. Are you kidding me? His biceps would fill a screen. Ugh, nonsense. Wait. Hold on. Look at that. Oh. Tell Molly to book us two plane tickets to Austria right now. Will do. Oh, and Joe, how passed on? Even better. Oh, my God. We found them. Joe Wheeler. I know. I read the books. Yes. Those are my magazines. IFBB. That is my federation. I've seen your picture. And I have pictures of you. Come look. It's me. You made it. I did. I've been drawing it my entire life. How would you like to be the face of bodybuilding? I want to compete in Mr. Olympia. When you train with me, you will win Mr. Olympia. I want to win Mr. Olympia. Only once? <laughs> if you're gonna win, we're gonna need to catch those legs up to that chest. It's too big. State is all about proportion. It must get bigger. Do you have a power spotter here? No, no, no. I do wine barrels. Wine barrels? Creative, but uh, we can do better. Much better. Yes. That's not bad though. I like that. I made it. Go on. I'll wait here. <laughs> Good. Drag it. Not bad, huh? I read your articles. You used to compete. Mm -hmm. When I was younger, but after my shoulder, no. What happened? Well, how it happened, long story. He said to me that I'm useless and uh, that the Americans never would get past my ugly face. That sounds like Hauk. Come on. Uh. Use some of that anger, uh. huh? Come on. Uh. Yes, that. That is how a man channels his anger. Come on. Let's go. Two more. One more. 
One more. One more. Last one. Come on. Rocket. Good. Good. You still a little more. I know. I lied. Arnold, I am training you to be the best in the world. Nothing less. Are we on the same page? Yes. Cho, I give you my best. Good. Steep mountain to climb, but we will get there together. 20 seconds. Jack, meet the oak. Arnold, Jack the Lake. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Wow. American gyms really are the best. Yeah? You like my place? Yeah. Let's party. <laughs> okay. Wow. I think you found another species. I'm listed as a favorite to win Olympia, and then this happens. Can you get me as big as him? Frank. You're an Aston Martin. Like James Bond drives. With him, he's more Mack truck. You're a good sport, Frank. I don't have a choice, Joe. The guy's incredible. Hey, bro, give me a chair, please. Oh, my God. Arnold! You all right? Sure. I didn't mean to break the damn chair. <laughs> it's my favorite chair. <laughs> but you know how much I love that chair. Yeah. Joe. We need to talk. All my life, people asked me what drove me. It wasn't until she died I realized she did. What the child needs and doesn't get, he searches for his whole life. As it turns out, Arnold had needs too, and he was searching also. Come on. Come on, you can do it, come on. Five more. The other guy, he just did two more, come on. Push. Come on, last one, one more. Good, rack it. Show off. Arnold, I want you to do one important thing for me tonight, all right? Have fun. Do what you do best. You make them laugh, and they'll love you. Well, hello, Joe. Uh, I apologize. I do not believe we allow convicts backstage. Huh. Well, I trained Sergio here. He was sanctioned, and he is competing here today. Well, you can still wait outside like everybody else. 
Another low blow from Joe Schmo, huh? Have you even taken a look at this Cuban god? His, his waist is actually smaller than his thighs. He's just gonna wipe the floor with your guy. So there you go. Maybe I'll let him wipe my ass. Get a good seat. <laughs> look at you. Seems you've uh, made some progress in spite of Weedy here. I knew you had it in you. Break a leg, Arnold. Maybe I'll break your jaw instead. You show me what you got. Well, I believe that you handled that quite well. You might have a future of the pictures. Nobody understands me. Oh, I believe the Hawk understood you loud and clear. Huh? Come on. Pump. Oh, yes. I did create the title of Mr. Olympia a few years ago, actually, when we were all sitting around mm. and everything. It was wonderful. Mrs. Weedy, don't you look mad? Would you like to join me in the winner section? <laughs> <laughs> you do create strong competitors, Mr. Hawk. Thank you. But to create an impeccable man, mm. it takes dignity and grace. Qualities you know nothing about. Good luck. As we were saying. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the premiere event in men's bodybuilding. Good luck. The IFBB Mr. Olympia. Remember, have fun and make them laugh. Come on. Here they are, the best bodybuilders in the world. you're looking for out there this year? Well, they're looking for three things. They're looking for mass, they're looking for symmetry, and they're looking for definition. It looks like we've got all three of those in spades tonight. These physiques are among the best we've ever seen. They sure are. I tell you what, these are not just bodybuilders. They're artists. They've been working all year carving, sculpting their physiques just for this moment. Human sculptures like we've never seen before, these should be in the halls of every museum everywhere. This is what Joe Weider has been picturing his entire life. This contest really comes down to Sergio and Arnold. Is it just me, or does Arnold look like he's actually having fun on that stage? I mean, this is big time. This is for the title of Mr. Olympia, and Arnold has turned this into his own playground. I mean, he's mocking to help Sergio on stage. This is incredible. We've never seen anything like this. Looks like the boys are done with the pose down. Arnold leaning over and telling Sergio something. Looks like they're ready to call it a day. Sergio is making his way off the stage. Arnold making his way. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Arnold was not taking his way off the stage. Arnold turned around and came back. He is playing to the crowd. He's starting to hit poses. The crowd is going absolutely crazy. He is ripping them up into a frenzy. He has never never seen anything like this on stage. Arnold just completely pulling the wool over Sergio's eyes. The crowd is absolutely nuts at this point. And here comes Sergio. I'll tell you this right now, he does not look too happy.
which will really pay it off. I think we'll all be heard a lot from the new champ, Arnold Schwarzenegger. So Hercules, who are they gonna get? The old brother? You're the only one who understands my English, Joe. Nobody cares about your accent. Have you heard mine? Just say the lines the way you want. You're making him more nervous, Joe. What? I cannot act. Then don't act. Just be yourself, Arnold. You told him I was a German Shakespearean actor. I'm so screwed. Arnold, Arnold, it's Hollywood. Nobody knows whether you've done Shakespeare in the park or your own damn garage. Just give a good flex, a nice smile. We'll all be fine. I'm freaking out. Oh. <laughs> you ripped it, you ripped it, you ripped it, Chuck. He did. He did. All right. Can we, can we fix that? We need, the, we need a whole new one. What do you think? Well, I love it. Mm. No. No, it's, it's silly. It's weird. We should get rid of it. It's not silly. I think it's perfect. It's perfectly you. asked me about my happiest memory. And now I have one. You. The first time that I saw you at Jack the Lane's gym. Thank you. Thank you for showing me how it feels to be so deeply loved. You've always deserved it. My last. So many old friends and wonderful faces here today. My brother Ben would have enjoyed this reunion. The history of what we did together is a great story, but no matter how many times I tell it, it'll never tell the entire tale. We were two poor kids chasing big dreams. There is simply no Joe Weeder without Ben Weeder. We didn't start out to change the world. Oddly, that's exactly what we did, Ben. People often called us brothers of iron. More importantly, we were brothers in life. I'll see you soon, Ben. And when we reunite up there, we will be looking down on all of you, making sure that you do every last rep of every damn set. <laughs> so that you can get the very best out of your bodies and get the best out of your lives. Believe me, I will be watching you. Of this you can be sure. 